Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in Django REST framework how to implement the crude functionality with view sets. And here we got the final output. Notice the records are displaying from this table. Right now we got only four records. Here we got the four records. Let's insert the new record. Fifth record is uh, Derek d at d at yahoo.com and the mobile name is 3456 click click post so here where I accept the record is inserted successfully let's check in our database click browse so it browse direct here now uh, if we want to delete the direct record or any particular EMP record I want to delete the EMP ID 5 click enter see here we got the EMP ID direct records with a delete option button control let's delete this record delete delete see here the delete the direct record has been deleted successfully let's check in our database now let's browse the table there is no more direct now here three I want to modify update the record of the mobile Warren employee one two three I want to change this Warren mobile number from this number to this number one two three click put see here the mobile number has been changed successfully let's check in our database right now the Warren mobile number is two three four two one when I click browse see here we got one two three if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before creating a new django rest framework application first we'll check the table in database the table name is a emp which contains four columns emp id emp name email and mobile uh, right now this table contains four records now my aim is i want to implement the crude functionality creating the record read the record update the record and delete the record using Django REST framework with view sets. So let's create a new Django web framework. Before creating a new Django REST framework application, first we require one new folder. So I'm creating a folder in E drive, right click the mouse, uh, click new and select folder and the folder name is REST F1 crude view set view sets enter let's browse this table folder right now this folder is empty now we'll create a new django rest framework web application in this folder i'm using visual studio code to create a new django rest application but before creating the application first we're required to add the folder which we have created to this visual studio code so for that we open file and then select open folder the folder name is the rest crude view sets i have created in the e drive so i have selected that folder name click select folder button and here the folder is successfully added to our visual studio explorer panel at the right side we got the welcome page let's close this welcome page now we'll create a new rest framework application in this folder for that go to view and select terminal here we got a terminal which is nothing but a PowerShell or command prompt and also notice the path is the E drive the folder name this is our folder name so I'm creating an application in this folder to create a Django application write Django hyphen admin start project after that the project name is crude view set view sets enter so here the spelling mistake is Django enter so here the application is created successfully in this folder let me expand this application and in this application it contains one special folder called a crude view set with the same folder same application name and one manage.py 
let me expand this one let me let me allow to expand this subfolder also and then in subfolder contains some default python files settings of py urls.py all these files and folders has been created automatically when i create this application crude view sets after that let's add a models to our subfolder of our application select the subfolder right click the mouse click new file the file name is a models.py enter and here we got our models.py page usually in this models.py page contains only the properties and table name so before adding the properties to this models page we need to import the models class so first let's add from django.db import models then define a class called employee model employee model models dot model colon after that we will add uh, the properties if you check in our table we have four columns so let's create four properties emp id is equals to a models dot integer field the data type is and this emp id column is a primary key so let's add the primary key is equals to true then we require the emp name is equals to models dot care field max underscore length is equals to 100 then we require the email uh, the third column is email yes it's email is equals to mobile instead of writing the same thing let's copy this one and paste here and mobile is equals to models dot integer field then i'm adding another class called meta class and this meta class contains the table name so db underscore table is equals to between double quotes i'm adding my table name which is the emp the table name is i'm pasting here in our models.py page that's it let's save this file save all now we require the serialized object also right click the subfolder click new file so the file name is a serialized.py now in the serialized page contains the model name the class model name and the fields of the model uh, so before that let's import the necessary classes from we are impl implementing the rest framework so uh, serialize the objects using rest framework import serializers after adding the serializers class next we need to add the models class also so from our models page is inside our application so cool usage dot models import employee model the class name is after that let's define the serialized class class emp serialize the class name is serialize serializers dot model serializer colon and uh, now in this class i'm defining em class meta class class a meta class in this meta class i'm defining the method name which is our class name of the model which is the employee model and from that model class i am accessing all the properties which is the fields within double quotes i underscore underscore all underscore underscore so let's save this file save all next we require the views page again right click the subfolder new file views.py enter now in this views.py contains the actual logic to create the apis to create the student to create the employee record to update the employee record to view all the employees and to destroy or delete the employees before that we need to import the necessary classes from first i'm importing the serializer class um, my serialized class is inside my project could view sets my application name that serialize import emp serialize then i'm adding my class name of the model also models import employee model after that 
I'm defining the class. I'm creating a class based API so, so with view sets. So here the EMP uh, crude crude. I'm adding view cells. Uh, so here I'm adding from a REST framework. REST framework import view sets. Then here in the view sets dot model view set. After that, I'm adding the query set class is equals to the query set contains the uh, select statement and um, named employee model dot objects dot all method then we need to serialize the object using serializer class serializer class is equals to our serialized name is emp serialize that's it it's only two lines of the code it creates we can list all the employee tables we can create the term emp record we can update the employee record and we can delete the employee record but before on this server we need to configure the urls also but before that let's save this file save all now let's open urls.py now here the path is um, we need to add the routers so from rest framework dot routers import default routers then default router now let's get a default router the router a router is equals to default router default router router now I'm registering the our router is router dot register between double quotes you can specify uh, uh, the model also so for example employee model the urls employee model if you don't want anything here you can delete that one leave it empty between single quotes comma and I'm including so we need to path include comma I'm adding views uh, my class name is views so here we need to import views also from dot import views views dot my class name let's copy that and paste here that's it now here path within single calls comma now i want to include now let's include our router here so we need to add include class also include the class is router.urls that's it let's save this file save all now we need to configure settings.py open settings.py in the settings.py come to the bottom first in the install and score app let's add our the application name the project name first the crude view sets is our application name i'm adding in this install underscore apps comma then and this application is a rest framework so i'm adding a rest underscore framework then come to the bottom if you notice the databases is sql the default database is sql 3 but our database is mysql is mysql and the database name let's read this default database name add our database name if you check in our database the table i have created this emp table i have created in this line database so let's add the line database after that we require the credentials the username the username is a root and the password password column here the password i'm leaving blank because i don't have any password to log into my php my admin database 
if you have any password please enter here between these single words after that we require the host also host is a local host comma and the port number column uh, between double between single goal the port number is double three zero eight let's add that one double three zero eight of my my sql database then we require the options colon init init underscore command colon within single goal so i'm setting the sql underscore more I'm setting the SQL more but in single quotes strict underscore trans underscore tables comma that's it let's save this file we have configured everything now let's run the server before we run the server we need to add our application to this path so cd cd after adding the path after adding the application to the path, let's run the server. Python manage.py run server. Enter. See, after I run the server, we don't have any issues in our application. And below that, we got our web server link. Let's run this application. Control plus mouse click to run the application. So here we got our output. If you notice, the path is employee moral because we have specified uh, in the URL is the employee model abuse MP code. So let's click this one. Oops, here we got an error class in Matting model attribute. Let's fix this one. In the serializer, see in the meta class, it's not method, it's a model. Sorry for that. Let's save this file, save all. Let's save this file. Save all. So after saving the file, we don't have any issues. Let's run the application again. Control plus mouse click. And here we got the output. Let's browse this. And here we got the final output. Notice the records are displaying from this table. Right now we got only four records. Here we got the four records. Let's insert the new record, fifth record is uh, Derek D at D at yahoo.com and the mobile name is 3456 click, click post so here where I accept the record is inserted successfully let's check in our database click browse so it browse Derek here now uh, if we want to delete the direct record or any particular EMP record I want to delete the EMP ID 5 click enter see here we got the EMP ID direct records with a delete option button control let's delete this record delete delete see here the delete the direct record has been deleted successfully let's check in our database now let's browse the table there is no more direct now here Three, I want to modify, update the record of the mobile Warren employee. One, two, three. I want to change this Warren mobile number from this number to this number. One, two, three. Click put. See here, the mobile number has been changed successfully. Let's check in our database right now. The Warren mobile number is two, three, four, two, one. When I click browse. So here we got one two three that's it we have created the crude functionality using view sets in django rest framework application